I am doing something a little different. I am doing my hair. and I am doing something a little different I'm doing my hair I just don't have the time I am a natural that is boring yeah that's me I just started to really experiment with hair and do different things every once in a while I might get a weave um, I've been doing my own braids lately, my own knotless braids, which isn't too bad, but, um, I'm going to attempt to do a quick weave on my own hair just because I'm tired. I cut it. It was longer. I cut maybe about three, four inches off of it, but. I just don't have the time for it right now. My life is extremely hectic, busy, stressful. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to do a quick wave. Um, I cannot give you too much detail. I don't have much details about the hair because the hair is super old because I don't do my hair often. Well, in weaves, I just said. So I have hair. Um, here it is. And the hair is Peruvian body wave. I want to say it's two 20 inches and an 18, two 18s, and it was elfin hair. I purchased this hair five years ago, probably. Yeah, so I don't have so much details about it. But, um, yeah. This is it. It's been stored away in a bag. I washed it and kind of did the S shape to keep the body wave in it. And that's pretty much it. So you might see like little strands from the bag. But this is it. Alright, so I did my cornrows and my twist is just in front and my edges are out. So now I cornrowed my hair. Which I can't really cornrow. And that's just what this looks like. I'm gonna put my caps on. This is my cap. So I'm gonna tuck my braid up like this. In between my braids. To get as flat as I can. So a little to my knowledge, um, the video is actually being recorded in slow mode right now. So I just sped it up and it was like two, three o'clock when I recorded this. I apologize. So I'm going to have to do like a voiceover on certain parts. Right here, you just see me take a um, lip liner and just mark where my leave out is so I can cut. I was being extra here, so I used a little bit of Gatsby glue and just sprayed it over my stocking cap, 
my wig cap um, to start off as a protection layer. So to mold my hair, I'm using Robert Diamond um, Protective Shield, and I purchased this from off of Amazon. All links will be in the description below if I can find the product. I think the next time I do this, I'm not gonna use a brush and bowl. I'm just gonna straight use my hand. So I'm just applying it to my cap now. And then after you apply it to your cap, you wanna make sure that it dries, cause if not, your tracks won't stick to your cap. I'm going to actually start it up and then bring it around. So. Yes, that is glue on my arm. Look, it is harder than it looks trying to put glue and wrap it around your head at the same time. Um, it definitely would have been easier cutting the wefts, but I didn't want to cut my wefts just because I wanted to, you know, leave them the way that they are just in case I wanted to sew it onto a wig and do a half a wig or another sew-in or whatever I want to do with it. So now that I wrap my hair to the top, at the leave out part, I'm going to fold the hair back and glue it there and go back around my head and do the same thing.
and I'm gonna fold it back over at that part where my leave out is and wrap it back around the front of my head all the way around back and do the same thing over and over again so I'm not gonna show too much more of this part because it gets kind of boring I'm doing the same thing all the way up to the top and it is just gluing and folding gluing and folding um, and that's all that I'm doing right here Here's how it looks in the back so far. So here I'm just trying to fix my hair, smooth it out a little bit and pull out my leave out. I'm going to cut my wig cap soon and I want to make sure I'm just cutting the wig cap and not my leave out. Here I am undoing my leave out. Then I'm gonna um, just clean up my part area and start curling my hair with my big flat iron to give me a body wave. I love this oil. It is Silk Works Salon Professional and it's a light oil. You don't need a lot and it has a, a nice smell, a refreshing smell as well. And you can even use it on your body. This is the finished look. And so, to be my first time doing my own quick weave, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Um, it wasn't the quickest, but I definitely like it and I'll do it again. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please like it, give me a comment below, and subscribe. I never met a tough cookie that wasn't sweet. Continue to be you, and see you next time. Bye!